Lily really has cancer. Lily has breast cancer, okay? You happy? I, I don't think they heard you back there, so. I'm sorry. Cancer. You had no problem telling me you had chlamydia in high school or that you were having a lesbian relationship with that girl in your dorm. But cancer, you keep a secret. <laughs> I just... <laughs> the, uh... That was Jennifer Lewis, the actress that you just heard talk. She's one of the uh, great unsung heroes <laughs> in, in the movies, and I just had to call her up. So we're back with Jennifer... Jennifer Aniston, I always said Jennifer Lewis. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston, Demi Moore, and Alicia Keys, and that was a theme from Alicia's Dead Next Oreo, from the Lifetime Original Movie 5. This is so, it's just so <laughs> wonderful having you ladies here. We have to go to, you know, it, when everybody comes out, it's like seven degrees from Whoopi. And, and you guys, when you went to Whoopi, like we said, we, everybody, we pictured, we, we thought about ghosts. Okay. And so that's the oh, one God, thing that we think amazing. about you and Whoopi. Yeah. We got a little clip. Of, uh, really? of, yes, we do. Let's, let's take a look at that. I'm holding her hand. It says he's holding her hand. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing to me? Hey, look, if you think I'd come all the way down here for my health, you're out of your mind. Sam's dead, okay? He's dead. Tell her I love her. He says he loves you. <sighs> Sam would never say that. Ditto. Tell her ditto. That was ditto. Ditto. <laughs> and that was... That was with the amazing Mr. Patrick Swayze. So when you look at that, what do you, what do you most remember about that movie, Whoopi, Patrick Swayze. Do you know what it was? I, I always think about it because it was a script that could have either been absolutely a disaster or work, yeah, right? It yeah. was, it was, yeah. it was one of these like, how do you mix this drama, this romance, and a comedy, right. and have it have impact? It really was a roll of the dice. Yeah. I mean, we didn't know. Had no we idea. Had no clue. And it was just kind of like trying to figure it out, and it was. And then we went to see it, and the three of us were like, were we in that movie? Too? <laughs> when I saw the movie, I remember. You know? But you never know. You never know. Oh, I wept. I love wept. That, that was such it a was beautiful movie. Like we just movie. can't remember that one scene where the tear came down oh your gosh. eye. And, yeah. the, and I crazy. took up pottery because of you, girl. <laughs> Couldn't do it for nothing. I never did find a man, but I took, I was just doing my pottery. She <laughs> became a plot uh, uh, lubricant. <laughs> I have to tell you, that's a scary image, Terry. <laughs> you want that wheel? We're going to do a wheel. segment on that later. <laughs> uh, we're not, ever. Joe, I'm going to ask you about your role um, over the summer in Horrible Bosses. A little different, a little, yeah. little raunchy. Yeah, what was I that like? Really it was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. He, the DVD's out next week, I think, right? Is, is that it? right? Oh, I think good, it is. It. I think it is. It's, it's out next week. Project that kind of in that kind of role, Jennifer. How was it when you when you had to do? Well, you know, just being all uh like that. Yeah. Uh, being all uh. Being all, uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I tell you, put a costume on and you can do anything. That's true. Yeah. Really That's what like, Olivier said. He put yeah. the costume on and then he could act. And then you yeah. can act. Like he yeah. gives you permission. Uh -huh. yeah. Absolutely, especially when you put like a. What about the banana? The banana was a little, that was a tough day. That was not my easiest. I was like, guys, you got three takes. <laughs> three, banana. three bananas. With three oh different food groups. And that's <laughs> it. That is funny. That's Alicia, it. I'm looking at you. I can't believe, is it 10 years since Songs in a Mirror came out? Debut minor. album. Come yes. on. In A minor, I'm yes. sorry. Do you think, I mean, looking back on it. And I don't know if it's your favorite, because you got to pick one today for us of all the songs that you've done. Uh, what? New York. Oh, that's the one. They sing it all day long. It is great. I have to tell you, Alicia, her daughter, <laughs> you have not lived until you've heard Little Grace oh. singing <laughs> New York, New York. She, she thinks New she's you. She's fantastic. She Can I see it on I'll send it to you on email, because right, it's, it's out there, but she's belting it. Oh, I mean, she so thinks good. that she, she is you. It. What's your favorite?
My favorite song yeah. for the period? Yep. Oh, that's gosh, hard. it is. That's, yeah. that's, that's, um, I think that it's really hard to pick, you know, yeah. but um, one of my, one of my favorites, I, definitely Empire is a favorite because of the fact that I'm from New York and it's such a, a moment for me to be connected back to my city. Mm -hmm. But one of my favorite songs is called If I Ain't Got You. And oh, yeah. it's a song oh, yeah. that really talks about, you know, never forgetting what life is about mm -hmm. and what, what does it really matter if you don't have that person to love in oh. your life. So that one really keeps me grounded all the time. Love I have that. to That's ask, nice. because to me, you're, you and Ashton are very involved in fighting sex trafficking. Yeah. Please tell us what you're doing and what we can do. Um, well, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a tough one, and a lot of people say, you know, what can you do? Well, first of all, just the awareness of what is actually really going on mm -hmm. and re-identifying what I think that we've categorized as a prostitute is not necessarily what you think. It is not always somebody who's choosing this as a profession. And often it is somebody that is a mere child who has no option, who's looking for love and is being manipulated and forced. And, you know, we have over 100,000 at risk mm -hmm. yearly here right in America. And, um, wow. you know, there's some of the things that we've been working on outside of just advocacy. Um, we've actually just launched launched this football for good with Adrian Peterson and the football players. Um, so for every touchdown, um, Adrian Peterson is giving $5,000 and right. Dallas Clark. Right. And, and it's all going to at-risk youth and, and to uh, help fight um, child sex slavery. Mm -hmm. um, but really, it's, it's first of all, it's just having the awareness. And um, I think our next real big push is looking at the criminalization because right. the, the buyers and the sellers have very little repercussions. And these young girls, even if they're underage, if they get arrested, they have a felony charge, which removes right. their ability to Gosh, pursue to careers in nursing, law enforcement, right. and uh, sort of kidnapping. You know, there's, there's what they call gorilla pimping, which is kidnapping, yeah, yeah. which is basically yeah. just taking and plucking a girl off the street and, uh, you know, putting her um, in, a, in a forced situation. Um, and, and, and there's some that's, you know, just uh, uh, at-risk youth right. who really are just looking for a place to belong, and they're preyed upon. Well, look, we're gonna we're gonna come and we're coming back with y'all. So don't don't anybody panic. We'll be right back. With even more of Jennifer, Jimmy, and Alicia. But before we go, take a look at Jimmy's movie Charlotte from Lifetime's original movie Five. Why did you take mommy's necklace? What? You took her necklace. I saw you. No, I didn't. It's in that bag. Your mama doesn't need this necklace right now. It isn't yours.